What is time to market? As the name implies, time to market simply refers to the time period from conception of a product, that is the idea phase, all the way until the product is available for purchase in a given market. Now, with that being said, businesses employ many different approaches to time to market. Sometimes they use various approaches or a mix of the two, or they allocate a specific method to individual types of products. Some of the various approaches to time to market include one, speedy. This is where you try to get the product to market as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, this is used by many businesses, but it oftentimes results in products that do not necessarily meet customers' needs or expectations. It is more about beating other potential competitors in introducing the product than it is, once again, delivering the highest quality that most fits the needs or wants of the customer base. Another one is predictable schedule time to market. This is where you deliver on a schedule that you're going to re-release, for example, a clothing line every spring, or you're going to introduce a bathing suit line during the summer or a winter line during the winter. You're going to have predictable schedules for your uh, release of new products. It can also be related to particular operational cycles, particularly if you serve other businesses, or it could be oriented towards a holiday schedule, for example, or other notable sales events. Events. So with that in mind, a predictable schedules, uh, time to market uh, measures once again the attempt to introduce products on a given schedule. So there's a predetermined period for the development of the product and thus the release of the product. A flexible time to market is simply you introduce the product to the market when it is most needed or wanted by the targeted customer client or end user so you focus on customer needs in determining how long you take to fully develop the product and when to ultimately introduce it to the market so while the product development process may stay the same it may take longer or perhaps even cause an expedited approach to product development or manufacturing in order to meet the customer demands, needs, or wants. And then lastly, a minimized approach. And this is an approach that uh, employs a time period to market that reduces costs. That is, when perhaps re resources are available during a certain time period or time of year, such as labor or raw materials. With this in mind, the objective is to cut costs so that the ultimate product uh, has the potential for the highest markup or the uh, highest profit margin because the cost of production are lower based upon this approach of time to market. So these are just some examples of how companies uh, vary in their approach to time to market.